What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the Jimmy H custom back piece for the Black Mamba, Power of the Primes, Optimus, and Orion Pax. So I recently reviewed this set. I really like it. I bought it for this because I wanted Orion Pax in scale with MP. But you're, you end up with either a body or a shell with a hole like this. Or if you were to take this apart, and I talked about this during the review, and I'm going to show it again here, but if you take out the three screws and you remove this backpack and put it on this guy, then you end up with a gigantic hole on this guy. So what this guy has created is some 3D printed parts here. So you get a back piece for this guy, which allows you to mount the head right here. And then you get a back piece for this guy to fill the hole that's going to leave when you take apart. So obviously when you do this, number one, they're not going to be able to transform because you're going to be removing the wheels and the parts you need to transform this into truck mode. I don't really care because I don't really want the truck mode. I really just want this for the Orion packs. And then this guy also will not be able to transform into the trailer. Well, I guess you still can. You could take off the, the chest, but basically you'll be missing the, uh, you know, the cab for the truck. All right, so let's get these guys prepped for the installation of the new back piece. So you're going to go ahead and open up here so you can access this back piece. Open this up, remove the matrix, which will actually now be able to put into this guy. So that's even better because who wants a matrix in Orion packs, right? So go ahead and grab a screwdriver and take out one, two screws. All right, next we're going to take out the screw in the front here. So go ahead and lift up the head, fold this down, and it's actually right here in the crotch. So you're just going to take this piece out. So we'll take that out off camera and be right back. All right, now that we got all three screws out, you can just come to the back. This is going to slide right off. So you can see there's the three screw holes, right? And just to kind of not lose the screws, you can probably just put them back in there so you can retain them. You know, I would, I would try not to, uh, just in case you ever want to put this back together, you can put those screws back in those holes. But the other thing you want to do is remove this head. So come to here, and just slide this out. It's on a clip here, and it just slides right out of that clip. So here's the Optimus head. So set that aside. All these parts we're going to use in a minute. So go ahead and take this, close that back up, put the head back down. And now we're going to grab his backpack piece. Here it is. This is going to fit right into here. Uh, he did mention this is printed on resin, so there was all sorts of disclaimers that if you drop it, if you manhandle it, it will break. I find it to be pretty robust, so I, I guess he's just being cautious, but um, he did say be careful and did say, you know, it's not meant for, you know, rough play or rough use. Like if you hand this to a kid, they'll probably break it. And there it is. There's the back. Nice and clean. Looks really good. I like it a lot. All right, next we'll take care of the Optimus figure here. So come to the back here and open up these just a little bit, give you some room. Take this piece here, we're going to put the matrix back in. We took it out just so we could get to those screws. So make sure this fits in. And I think it only goes one way. So get that kind of wedged in there. Close that up. Close that up. That's going to make the front of the chest. That's just going to insert here. There's two rails here that are going to fit into these slots. So make sure that you line those up. And it should just click into place. You should feel it kind of lock in. It should look like that. All right, now we'll take the backpack. So here is the new piece here that we're gonna install. These are gonna fit into here and here. But first, we gotta put the head on. So go ahead and take the head. There's a little tab right there, and that's gonna fit into here. It says push gently. Um, it's, it's definitely a tight fit, but you don't wanna break this. Don't push on these or these. I push on the stronger part of the uh, plastic. It does feel very robust, but you do wanna be careful. All right, and if you really wanted, you could glue it there. I'm not going to glue it, but you can. All right, take this, and then this is going to fit right into here. So get that pushed in. Um, and I recommend holding here on the silver part to get a little leverage. If you push on the chest, it'll obviously pop out the chest. So Let's get that pushed. And then close these back up. There's his back. And there you have Optimus and Orion Pax. Complete, two separate figures. Very happy with this. I really think this is a, 
worthy upgrade to get two figures out of one. Now, another piece you can do, and this is totally optional uh, if you want to, is to remove some of this kibble. Um, these pins are very, very loosely done. So you really only need a screwdriver or a pin punch if you have one. So here is a pin punch. Um, it, it's a uh, spring-loaded mechanism. So as you push it down, pressure builds, and then when it hits the bottom, it releases this pin and it punches the, the pin out. So you can use that. Um, but fortunately, these uh, pins are so loose, you can just push it through. So literally, I'll just show you one. I can push this pin out. And now that I have it popped out, I can grab it with a pliers or anything. Just be careful with the plastic. But you can basically just grab a pair of pliers and grab this and pull it out slowly. And you can get rid of some of the kibble. So I was actually considering, you know, how best to make this guy look because he's got a lot of stuff on the side. So you could take this one off too. But then you'd end up with this panel here. Um, I think that's probably the best you're going to get. Another option is to take this whole side piece off and then you get the wheels underneath. So I don't know if you want the wheels. It actually doesn't look too bad to be honest. The wheels you know, kind of looks like options. But I think you want it covered up. So my, my recommendation is leave that piece but if you wanted to you could remove this pin right here and again all of these pins are so loose they're really really easy to to take out um, but I would recommend maybe taking taking this off you know just kind of sticks out it's a little bit ugly so again you can use a pin punch uh, or on this particular on my particular figure it's very very loose I can just push it with a screwdriver and then grab it and there you go. A little bit more streamlined. You can see this leg looks better than this leg. So let me get the other one off camera and we'll be right back. So final thoughts on the Jimmy H custom back pieces for the Black Mamba, Part of the Primes, Optimus, and Orion Pax. First, let me say these pieces actually look really good. They are sculpted nicely and appropriately for the character and painted well. They match close enough. They're not 100% perfect, but they're damn near perfect for me so it's good enough um, I also love the fact you end up with two figures uh, I was only originally planning to have just the one Orion Pax you know so I could have in my collection but just having this extra giant Optimus Prime is great it does kind of remind me of the uh, MAS Mega Optimus Prime that came out so it just kind of has that look and that bulk to it so it's kind of cool to have it, you know, on its own. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is during my review, I mentioned that the knees and the foot were kind of loose. They are a little loose. I put some kiki in there. Uh, but the one joint that you don't need to put kiki in is this ankle because it locks in. So there's a little slot right here and a tab. I didn't know it locked in because it's so tight that it's really hard to push. So I'll just show you how much effort it takes. <clears throat> So you really got to push it in there. It does lock in. That improves stability tremendously. So I definitely recommend uh, locking that in in the Optimus mode. So if you're going to get this upgrade, uh, you can have kind of a stable. It's also lighter because you don't have this whole guy in his chest. So he lost all the weight of this guy. Um, so highly recommend it. Uh, again, the link is in the description. If you want to buy it, it's from his eBay page. Uh, and he does have some other stuff. I actually have one more review. I'm going to look at another piece from him. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.